Kaufman. And doctor, because of the urgency of the matter we mark today in terms of a death toll of half a million, I'd like to begin with you. Do you ever allow yourself a kind of what if thinking? What if we had been competent at this? What if our president had not been a denier? What if we had buckled down and done the hard work required, not let politics get in the way of mask wearing or not? How would our nation look different tonight? Every day. But, you know, I, I think that to say to say that this pandemic is going to alter and has already altered the course of history for our country, but really our entire world, is not hyperbole, because we mark the 500 deaths that we've had here, and we're rolling towards this other horrible tragedy, which is soon will mark two and a half million people who died globally of this disease. And, and that's not even, you know, the entire number is thought that the deaths both here in the U.S. are underestimated directly from COVID. And that's not even counting the second wave, Brian. In every single epidemic that I've been part of, the people who are whose lives are affected, medical care is affected uh, because of due to second, you know, other diseases that could not be attended to because of the pandemic. And globally, things like drop in vaccination rates, not even taking into account the fact that this is the biggest economic shock since the Great Depression. And you've already seen 115 million people being pushed into extreme poverty globally. To me, it says, you know, what President Biden said today about uh, remembering as part of healing. That's important. But we also will have to rebuild. And what we rebuild, you know, we'll have to not just pandemic proof our society, but we're going to have to politics proof from here on out our pandemic response. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.